Y'all, this is Nadia Suarez, who allegedly owned this location, Snatch Dolls Airbnb. She was arrested previously for the same thing. Now, this patient was referred by CG Cosmetic Surgery. And y'all, they picked her up in a minivan with mattresses laying in the back. These people legit be laying on other people's waist. This location was raided by the police while the news reporter was there and they had to call EMTs for several patients. Located, this lady paid $1,600. Immediately after surgery, instead of going straight to the house, she had to ride along for other patient pickups. I say it maybe was an hour, hour and a half before I finally made it to the recovery house. So I was, I mean, I was literally just about to pass out. You know, it, it was awful. It was awful. We previously told you about another woman's frightening ordeal staying in a different recovery house. That woman ended up in the hospital after she says she lost too much blood. Since then, the people running the house packed up and left. At Juanita's location, she described seeing women left for hours bleeding through their bedding poor sanitary conditions and really scary moments. Medical experience, they had none. Um, they didn't really know what to do in the case. Some of the girls was like really in really bad conditions. They would go and get rubbing alcohol and put it on cotton balls and try to, you know, make them sniff it. We went in person to try to talk to people working at the house. Is this Snatch Dolls? Hi, no, no tiene que cerrar. This man quickly told to shut the door. Outside, we saw two vans with mattresses inside. Hello. Hi, we're with Channel 10. Is there someone we could speak with about this house? We only spoke with this woman who claimed she's not aware of this being a recovery house. No, no, esa muchacha no está con servicio. La que están ahí no tienen servicio. Entonces, ¿qué es esta propiedad? Una casa de familia, me imagino. ¿Y usted qué hace? No, yo vine aquí a hacer una visita. But that's not true, according to Juanita, who says this woman's name is Gladys, actually one of the caregivers working in the house. It turns out we weren't the only ones looking into the property. We obtained a search warrant based on um, multiple surveillances that were conducted in the area. Only Local 10 was there as Miami-Dade police searched the Kendall area home on Southwest 125th Terrace last month. Inside, they discovered several workers and customers. We found multiple patients um, recovering from surgery. Um, at one point in time, fire rescue did need to come to render aid to one of them. This detective with Miami-Dade's medical crimes unit asked not to be identified, telling Local 10 they called in the illegal dumping squad after finding medical waste left out for trash pickup.